one of six new summer movies we'll be reviewing this week on Siskel and Ebert, including a new film with Robin Wright from Forrest Gump and such provocative summertime silliness titles as Switchblade Sisters <laughs> and Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. When we come back, a summertime exploitation double bill of two loopy titles. Get this, Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD and Switchblade Sisters. Kabukimon San Joe. It's summertime, and that means time for drive in style exploitation films. And I'm going to review two in a row, both would be camp items. And let's start with how about this title Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD. And I wish the movie were as amusing as the title, but it's not. It follows the adventures of an American cop who is transformed into an Asian crime fighting machine. <laughs> That's Rick Giannassi as Sergeant Kabuki Man, and he's a reluctant superhero. That's one of the gags in the movie, even when he's around an Asian woman who has been training him for his ultimate test against the evil one. Clearly you have no comprehension of the scope of your mission. The evil one never sleeps. You must be ready for an attack at any time. Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD is a cheap production without many laughs or much real wit. I think I like the idea of it more than the reality. Same can be said for a better, much better, campier movie, Switchblade Sisters Need to Have a Good Time. Well, we're kind of comparing uh, apples and oranges yes. here, but I like Kabuki Man better than Switchblade wow. Sisters. I'm going to okay. start with Switchblade Sisters and just say that seeing this film 20 years after it was made yeah. was a real shock for me because it reveals how much better young directors and young writers and young actors are today with low-budget movies than they were 20 years ago. This movie yeah. is amateur night. Well, it's yeah. badly photographed, it's badly written, and frankly, it's very badly acted, too. And when you see now the new movies that are coming up through the Sundance Film Festival, for example, you see a much higher level of professionalism. Except that I don't think that that was a young uh, filmmaker starting out in his career. Well, and that's even sadder than uh, that. Okay. Uh, but you really enjoyed Sergeant Kabuki Man? Now, I liked it, but there was more to look at. It was more, it, it tried harder, it had more variety. I mean, Switchblade Sisters is would by you, the numbers. Would you it's actually... A, it's an exploitation let's, gang picture. Okay, let's go, let's go to this. Yeah. Would you actually recommend, are you giving thumbs up to Sergeant Kabuki Man? No, I'm not giving thumbs okay. up to either one, but I'm recommending Sergeant Kabuki Man as the choice between these two films. I was just about to check your pulse. I knew that it was two thumbs down. When we come back, a new movie version of perhaps the most popular opera of all time, Madam Butterfly.